So how many of you, you out there know Elton John and Billy Joel? Raise your hand. It's a little bit of trivia. What do Elton and uh, Billy have in common? Anybody know? They both have two first names. Elton John and Billy Joel. They both play the piano. They both write their own compositions, sing them. And the only difference between the both is Billy does both. He composes the music and the lyrics. Uh, Elton had uh, Bernie Taupin through the years, and they wrote some sensational things. So I've chosen two of my favorites to do for you, and I hope you enjoy it. One of them is Just the Way You Are, and the other is Your Song. Thank you. 
This is the first time that I'm performing in Clubhouse 4 on the floor here. And uh, uh, some people spoke to me after the last show, said, why aren't you up on the stage? You know, you belong up there. Well, I agree with them. But, you know, sometimes you have to give a little to get a lot. Okay, and those dancers are really starting to cook, so they deserve the stage. And, and just go and say, you know, you know, be a little humble pie, and that's okay. That's out, Mark. Okay, I like being down here because it always reminds me of a movie I saw with Al Jolson, and he was appearing at the Winter Garden in, on Broadway in Manhattan, and he said to the producer, I have to be closer to the people. Yeah. He said, please, give me something. And they built a ramp for him, like the one at the amphitheater, only without the railings, okay? God bless the railings. Anyhow. Uh, and with that, he was able to get out and touch, okay? And this is the way it was for me uh, when I was performing with a group, a vocal group, called the Four Guys back in the 50s. Yes. And uh, uh, we were playing all over the country and working all the dives and all this stuff. But we finally hooked up with a manager and he had us booked into the Copa Cabana. Okay? And that was a real thrill. And why does this remind you of the Copa Cabana? Well, if any of you were there, you'd see that the performers worked on the floor so they can be right there with the people. And when you, you looked out there, you saw all the stars, you could touch them. Sammy Davis, you know, uh, Dean Martin, and there was old Blue Eyes right there. Oh, right. Old Blue Eyes. And that leads me to this little thing. I'm gonna tell you a story, musically, about the man, Frank Sinatra. So listen closely, because it's a wonderful story. This time I'm not going to play it, I'm going to sing it. Okay. With whatever is left in the tank, okay? <laughs> It was a very, a very good year for a small town girl and soft summer lights. They'd hide from the lights on the village green. When he was seventeen, when he was twenty-one, that was a very good year, a very good year for city girls who lived up the stairs. All that sweet smelling perfume in her hair, but it came undone when he was twenty one. When he was thirty five. That was a heck of a year, a very good year for blue-blooded girls of independent means. Ah, he ride in those limousines, her chauffeur would drive when he was 35. Autumn 
of his years. But he felt that his life was like vintage wine from fine old kegs, from the brim to the dregs. It poured sweet and clear. It was a very good year. Very good year. A very good year. And now the end was near. And so we came out of the blue. Uh, it was just a stroke of luck. And it's become like an annuity. Because, yeah. Only because he sang the song. Okay? But my one, how can I say, the one thing I was sad about is the timing of it. He never performed it live. And the reason for that, right after he recorded, he went into the army, went to Germany. You know the whole story. Okay. Uh, however, I was uh, at a symposium in Palm Springs uh, put on by the uh, fan, Hollywood Fan Club for Elvis, and we were invited down for the year anniversary of their honeymoon and stuff like that. And I was on a forum with four starlets from the films that he made with them. And uh, I stated that, you know, he never performed a song. 
And one starlet said, you're wrong, Bert. I said, what do you mean? He said, we were traveling from Hollywood to location, and he sang the song to me. So he did do it live. Okay. Right now, I hope you enjoy Wear My Ring Around Your Neck. Oh, Maestro. It's commercial time. <laughs> Won't you wear my ring up around your neck to tell the world you're mine by hell? Yeah, to let them know I love you so. Yeah, let them know. Ball and ring around your neck. Won't you wear my ring up around your neck to show the world you're mine by hell? Yeah, let them know I love you so Yeah, let them know Follow me Well, they say that going steady Is not the proper thing They say that we're too young to know The meaning of the ring I only know I love and love you And that you love me too So darling, this is what I beg of you up around you to show the world your mind but yeah let it show I love you so yeah let it show by the way well they say that going steady is not the proper thing they say that we're too young to know the meaning of a brick And darling, this is what I beg of you Won't you wear my ring Up around your neck To tell the world You're my by head Yeah, let it show I love you so Yeah, let it show By the ring Yeah, let them know By the ring Show by the ring up around your neck. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Don't clap your hands, go out and buy the record.